Biography of Archimedes Archimedes was born c. 287 BC in the seaport city of Syracuse, Sicily, at that time a self-governing colony in Magna Graecia, located along the coast of southern Italy. The date of birth is based on a statement by the Byzantine Greek historian John Zetzers that Archimedes lived for 75 years. In the Sandrecana, Archimedes gives his father's name as Phodias, an astronomer about whom nothing is known. Plutarch wrote in his parallel lives that Archimedes was related to King Hiero II, the ruler of Syracuse. A biography of Archimedes was written by his friend Heraclides but this work has been lost, leaving the details of his life obscure. It is unknown, for instance, whether he ever married or had children. During his youth, Archimedes may have studied in Alexandria, Egypt, where Conan of Samos and Aratisthenes of Syrin were contemporaries. He referred to Conan of Samos as his friend, while two of his works The Method of Mechanical Theorems and The Cattle Problem have introductions addressed to Aratisthenes. Archimedes died c. 212 BC during the Second Punic War, when Roman forces under General Marcus Claudius Marcellus captured the city of Syracuse after a two-year-long siege. According to the popular account given by Plutarch, Archimedes was contemplating a mathematical diagram when the city was captured. A Roman soldier commanded him to come and meet General Marcellus but he declined, saying that he had to finish working on the problem. The soldier was enraged by this, and killed Archimedes with his sword. Plutarch also gives a lesser known account of the death of Archimedes which suggests that he may have been killed while attempting to surrender to a Roman soldier. According to this story, Archimedes was carrying mathematical instruments, and was killed because the soldier thought that they were valuable items. General Marcellus was reportedly angered by the death of Archimedes, as he considered him a valuable scientific asset and had ordered that he not be harmed. Marcellus called Archimedes, a geometrical briareus. The last words attributed to Archimedes are, do not disturb my circles, a reference to the circles in the mathematical drawing that he was supposedly studying when disturbed by the Roman soldier. This quote is often given in Latin as, Noli turbe circulos meus, but there is no reliable evidence that Archimedes uttered these words and they do not appear in the account given by Plutarch. Valerius Maximus, writing in memorable doings and sayings in the 1st century AD, gives the phrase as, Dot said protecto manibus pulue, noli, enquit, absacro, istum disturbe. But protecting the dust with his hands, said, I beg of you, do not disturb this. The phrase is also given in Katharavauza the tomb of Archimedes carried a sculpture illustrating his favorite mathematical proof, consisting of a sphere and a cylinder of the same height and diameter. Archimedes had proven that the volume and surface area of the sphere are two-thirds that of the cylinder including its bases. In 75 BC, 137 years after his death, the Roman orator Cicero was serving as quaestor in Sicily. He had heard stories about the tomb of Archimedes, but none of the locals were able to give him the location. Eventually he found the tomb near the Agrigentine Gate in Syracuse, in a neglected condition and overgrown with bushes. Cicero had the tomb cleaned up, and was able to see the carving and read some of the verses that had been added as an inscription. A tomb discovered in the courtyard of the Hotel Panorama in Syracuse in the early 1960s was claimed to be that of Archimedes, but there was no compelling evidence for this and the location of his tomb today is unknown. The standard versions of the life of Archimedes were written long after his death by the historians of ancient Rome. The account of the siege of Syracuse given by Polybius in his universal history was written around 70 years after Archimedes' death, and was used subsequently as a source by Plutarch and Livy. It sheds little light on Archimedes. Equals thank you equals.